Hey guys, it's me and Blam Good. Blam and the little pink princess dragon. Oh, it's December. Yes, it is. And what happens in December, guys? Oh, we put on a hat. Well, I put on a hat. So. Let me put my hat on. I have a couple of hats, but you know, this is the one. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my hair is just, it's just so bad. It's just so bad. It's been so bad today. And once again, like, why is there never any place to put things down? So, it's. Santa Claus time! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I love Christmas. And yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Just look around. Santa Claus is everywhere. Remember, you can be a Santa Claus. And there's just nothing better to be than a Santa Claus. So, you know, try to be the best Santa Claus that you can. All right, um, I did not get anything in the mail last week, and I don't know, there's just not a whole lot going on right now. I think a lot of people are busy shopping and stuff, and, you know, we're waiting on quite a few things. Um, I'm trying to order the Allure box. I'm just having problems, like I get all the way to the very end and go submit, and then it kind of goes like, oh... Loading one, two, three, four, five. Loading one, two, three, four, five. Loading one, two, three, four, five. And then like continuous, continuous, continuous. So I'm going to have to go back in and deal with that again. Meanwhile, it's December. We're breaking out the new palette. I might get another palette to put with this and I might not. I don't know. But this is the <sighs> Christmas Cookie House Party Palette. Okay, there's a mouthful, right? It's like magnetized. Like that won't stay on very good by itself. You you would definitely need to uh, support it with something. But it's pretty cool. The roof is... All right, so here's the roof. And there's no mirror in the whole thing, which is kind of a bummer. But... I did get a really good price on it. Um, you know, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. Which, I'm not even going to get into this right now. I'm going to put this up because I'm working on so much stuff right now that I'm trying to, like, like I've hit pan and I'm trying to use it up. So, you know, okay. This is, this is this is the front door. It's magnetized. It just stays on. And it's like, it's like a little bit cushy. It's, it's not completely flat. It's, um, like there's some cushiness in there. But this is real cute. In here you have four glitter, pressed glitters, and two mattes. So, you could almost do a look just with this. Um, I know I forget that the mats are even in here, so I guess this could be like my second palette. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I did yesterday. Okay, not yesterday. On the first Sunday, I started really getting into this and playing around with it, and I've been a little bit scared because. You know, after I bought this, I actually purchased this around my birthday because I got a good discount. So, it was like October. Um, and then, I heard a lot of talk about, um, alright, let's take the plastic out. How Tarte and Too Faced and a lot of these guys, um, here's the house. 
it doesn't fold all the way back and I'm not gonna break it to do that so but yeah there is there is some serious prettiness in here and there are some topper shadows that are out of this world um ah. I don't know what color I'm even going for today and I'm really loving these two brushes from BoxyCharm. I just, I need to dig out one of my pencils. That's the only thing that is really needed. Um, so today, hmm, I think maybe let's go with something a little bit peachy. I'm at that point in my eyesight where it's really hard for me to tell what's a matte and what's a shimmer unless it's like a real solid matte and a real shiny shimmer um all right we're gonna take we're gonna try it first to see okay now we're gonna take this one in the corner here and go on that first i did a green look yesterday that turned out really pretty and last night i was messing around with um like purples and pinks and and that turned out so I'm I'm putting together like how to where to put a mat and where to put a shimmer and then um what to do with the lid with the toppers and this I am happy to announce is just as good as any other of my Too Faced palettes. Y'all know how I feel about my Too Faced. Love my little Too Faced. Um, there's a, it's like Christmas Street with the three little palettes. And I'm like so close to getting that but then I backed out because I haven't seen very many reviews on that and I'm thinking like okay um how good is it you know I mean did I get the one good palette or all of the holiday palettes for you know this going to be good um I am going to take this glorious, what looks like a white, but no, it's not. It's kind of a highlighter, but it's a, like a duochrome. And there's, um, there's four or five of them in here that are like duochrome. Just gorgeous. And, you know, if you're smart, you'll knock your brush off first because... They do have some fallout, but that's why, you know, especially with like duochromes, they go on so well because there's a lot on your brush. Just so make sure you knock off the excess before. Is that, I? you know, I don't think that it even shows up on blends beautifully. This really, um, if you're wanting to get a holiday, you know, or ask for a holiday set, um, this also came with the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I already got rid of because I'm sorry, I do not like the Better Than Sex Mascara. And it came with this, uh, Melted Matte Gingerbread Man liquid lipstick that not only smells like gingerbread it tastes like gingerbread this could be a bad thing um which i actually topped off with uh i have a deluxe sample of a lipstick that i got a long time ago from Too Faced. this is you're gonna be able to see it here or not this is unicorn tears in the solid i actually had this in the melted matte and i didn't like it i ended up getting rid of that one but 
this is really nice as a topper. Um, if you have darker skin, it actually stands by itself, really. It's another one of those, like, translucent kind of, you know, shows a lot of different colors. Um, just beautiful. Okay, so now that we've done that... Let's go in the corner. I kind of have an idea what I want to do with the lid. Let's go in the corner with, um, hmm. Wow, those two shades are almost the same. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. I think that's a matte. I know I'm, I'm trying to, trying to use those mattes. I am, I am, I am. Okay, and we're going to just put her right in that outside corner. Outside corner. Again, knock off that brush. And go ahead and just blend that outside corner. Bring it in, kind of bring it up to the crease a little bit. I hope you can even see what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm actually bringing it into the lid a little bit more than I usually do. Um, we're going to mix this with a kind of a peachy sort of thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to go under with, but, you know, she just really, I am so happy with this. I guess I could look at that other one, huh? But no! Um, all right, let's pick up the other brush with the little narrow on it, and, hmm... All right, I'm going to go with this kind of corally, peachy corally, whatever. I'm going to put that right on the lid. So, guys, I heard some gossip about Ipsy. And I'm calling it gossip because I don't know if it's actually true or not. But um, from the source that I heard it from, I think it probably is, you know, but I just, I have not verified any of this myself, but, um, oh, Ipsy, you know, I said from the beginning, when that first month, when they came out with the Ultimate, and it was so bad, I said, oh, there has been... Some kind of a corporate change, some kind of a um, an executive or somebody that is new but in power and has no idea what they're doing. And you know what? I was not far from the truth. Ipsy has changed hands. Okay, and like I said, this is hearsay. This is just something I heard from someone else, but I do consider to be a pretty dependable source. Um, now I'm going to kind of blend that outside brown with the peachy color that I just put down. But, um, the original owner, I believe, the founder, which I could be wrong about that too, has sold the company and obviously the new owner is an idiot okay i'm going to kind of mix that peach and that brown together a little bit on my brush and take it under the eye so basically um my opinion of the whole thing is How long does it take to completely destroy a multi-million dollar business? Because that's kind of, 
that's kind of what's going on. And I have loved Ipsy. Ipsy was my first. It, it was like, like I always said, I would never give up that little bag because it was so, you know, I just loved it so much. But evidently, um, when the owner that loved the company left, so did the love in the company. You know, all the familiar people are gone. They changed the packaging to that stupid baby pink, you know, um... Even the brands, there's not, like, there's not too many really good brands that are working with them anymore. I mean, somebody went into this with high intentions and then found out it ain't that easy and thought, well, we're just going to buy, you know, what we can get and sell it for 50 bucks, 25 bucks. Ooh, let's raise the price of the $10 bag to 12 bucks and... That ain't working either. So, I hate to say it, but... Wow, that's so pretty. Okay. Um, we've got several things that we can go with here. And I think I'm going with... This one. As a... Let me see. Yeah, see here as a uh, topper. So these are so incredibly soft. I'm just going to kind of tap her on there, tap her around a little bit. So, in my opinion, Ipsy is gone. It's no longer what it once was, and it will never be again. Um, it will be interesting to see if it evolves or if it dies. Um, obviously, if they keep going the way they're going. I mean, um, Sidney, who... <sighs> that beautiful black girl with the blue eyes that was one of the models... Um, I've seen her on BoxyCharm now. You know, I mean, they got rid of Madison Miller. All, all of them. They're gone. All of them. And they got these new girls. And there's like, like I'm looking at these girls and I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing a lot of, I don't know. The nice thing about the other girls were there was, there was a lot of, um, normalcy like like there was a lot of anybody could any woman could relate to something that of one of them you know and i'm not seeing that in these new models so you know um i don't know maybe they're the owner's granddaughters who knows i'm gonna put a little bit more of the peachy Whatever color that was. And we're going to blend that in a little bit more too. That just didn't. That didn't duo chrome out the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. Um. Alright. I'm going to take that white. And go in my inner corner. These are so soft that it's like, you really have to be careful because if you go in and start digging, you are going to lose so much product because they're so soft. They're just not going to stand up to a lot of digging. Okay, and I'm going to bring that in. So, this month, I am getting the, oh, that is so pretty, I am getting the, um, the small Ipsy bag, but this is the last one. I am 
definitely going to cancel uh, that's it that's it all my ipsy um they're supposed to be today being monday when i am you know actually taping this they're supposed to be some kind of a real good deal going on in the add-ons um i have not been able to get into it yet so uh, you know, Monday is my day off, and I get really bad internet here, so it might just be that my signal bites, um, or, you know, it might be ipsy, uh, you know, it's hard to tell, and I hate it when I have, like, confusion like that, because... Like $4, uh, Lash Princess Drugstore. Like, seriously, I got that at CVS. Um, I just really... You know, it upsets me because I love Ipsy for so long. And it's, you know... It's not even like it's changed. It's like it's gone. It's just, you know, it is no longer. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes because I don't know what happened, but especially this one is looking pretty droopy. Droopy eye. And this is the concealer that, um, we got through our little foil packets in the boxy charm. Uh, this is the darker one. I've actually used up the lighter one. So, um, and while I generally do prefer to use my fingers for this, I'm trying to get your fingers with any kind of fingernails into those little foil packets is like not happening. Um, so, I just think that that is so pretty. Um, what the heck, since that other thing didn't work, let's see about maybe putting a little bit of, oh, there's another plastic piece. Look at all these plastic pieces. Whew. Um, all right, let's go with this one right here and we're just gonna we're just gonna tap a little of that even the glitter is like really soft I have learned to you know if I kind of flick my finger a little bit before I put it on um, I actually don't end up with so much of it all over the place. Although, I tell you, if glitter falls on my face, if I'm up to having glitter on my eyes, I'm up to having glitter on my face. So, like, whatever. But, there she is. And I do think this is a palette that you could... You know, you could go big or stay home. You could um, really get some more neutrally looks or, you know, put some cool stuff on there. But, so give me your opinion. Comment below on this whole Ipsy thing. Um, I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. You know, after this last bit of news, I might go back to Ipsy one day in the future. But they're gonna have to really, they're gonna have to really swing some some good stuff to get me back. And you know, I, I feel bad for all of the people that really wanted to. You know, I'm gonna stand by Ipsy while they're going through this tough time. But it's no longer Ipsy. It's it's somebody else now. It's it stopped being Ipsy when the original owner left, and that's how I feel about it. Ooh. Subscribe.
subscribe to the channel. Hey, you know, we talk about stuff like this. I don't really like to do the tea thing because I don't want a lot of, you know, negativity. But let's face it, Ipsy brought this upon themselves. Um, I've got, the box is really late. The fashion style box, but as soon as we get that, we'll be opening it. I've got the, the little Ipsy bag. Boxy Lux, Boxy Premium, and I'm trying to order a lure, but for some reason I haven't been able to get in there yet. So, um, we do have some things. Oh, and I've got another mystery box coming from Ofra, and I did order some pop up stuff, and hopefully I can get into the add ons today and, you know, get some iffy add ons. I hate us. Hey, listen to the goat, the glam goat. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscription button. Hit that notifications button. I try to go up three times a week. Three times a week. Three. One, two. Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. Losing it here. Um, you know it's fun, and yeah, seriously, I would do it. You should do it. You should. Come and join along with what we're doing, which we're doing it. So, <laughs> until the next time, I hope you, oh gosh, I had it planned how I was going to do this and now I lost it. Wake up dancing, wake up dancing, wake up dancing every day. <laughs> Every single day. I hope you're healthy and wake up dancing. Bye-bye. <laughs>